pestilence presents and progresses in unforeseeable fashions and has a queer way of of creeping into the unprepared and call it what you want doctor it was a mercy i did to him he is cured he is a vegetable i i would not expect you to understand hoy hoy i thought that was pretty amazing normally um I keep the credits into a link in the description, otherwise I'd be here all day with these. But uh, I just wanted to say that uh, you slash Slotborg created that small stop motion animation, which is pretty goddamn hilarious. Um, yeah, I like it. Also, you may notice that we're still doing just audio only today. I feel real crappy still. Um, actually, let me show you something real quick. This, God, this is the internet. Yeah, I'm just going to do it anyway. Who cares? This is a picture of what my feet look like. And if you can tell, you can see the one on the right is swollen for no reason. I have no idea what's going on exactly. But uh, yeah, I'm having a, a plethora, a mixture of medical issues all at once. It's great. The important part is I feel like shit. I was actually thinking about not doing a video at all today, and then I realized I have a schedule to keep. So I'm going to do one, probably a few less memes than normal, but um, we're going to get through it, and hopefully by Thursday I'm feeling better. If not, well, probably do audio only then too. I'm just, it's so much work to get my cameras and everything set up. I barely have enough energy to stand up right now. So we're just going to do this, and we'll go from there. You are wrong about the Fire Nation. Am I, though? Okay, so I included this because I am uh, always going to include stuff that uh, has Dr. Sumerian in it. I think this is an Avatar The Last Airbender reference, but I don't know what the reference is. Uh, someone's going to have to fill me in in the comments. Sorry about that. Uh, this is an, what, an anime? <laughs> I don't know if this was edited or was this like this to begin with? Either way, I believe this is from, what, Taboo? Yeah, I mean, it's a fitting image, I guess. It looks very much like the Im the page image. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw this, and again, it includes Dr. Sumerian, so my vanity won't allow me to uh, not include it, but uh, also, people are so weird. I don't get it sometimes. Account, cold post without criticism. Post gets deleted. Account. This is actually animated, but I, I just made a screenshot of it instead. Uh, the not really using the video, uh, not really using my video uh, format here very well, but uh, it is what it is. This is a thing that you do run into a lot. People will, I think it's just because everyone thinks that they're so great. You know, everyone tells them that they're great and they're like, well, if I'm so great, why aren't, why aren't you, why don't you like my stuff? But, um. A lot of people who post things to the wiki and get it deleted because it's bad don't really understand what the issue is. And sometimes that leads to them blaming the wrong people and things. Like instead of it being their quality of their work, uh, it's got deleted because the uh, SCP wiki people are mean or the SCP wiki people don't know what they want or they, you know, so and so and so and so and so and so. A lot of calculations just to figure out how it's not your fault. The Volgan, the Exploring Series, Tat's Top Videos, and Dr. Sumerian SCP Podcast. <laughs> that is The Undertaker. I, I, I've I watched wrestling in the 2000s enough to know that. I don't know who the guy in the front is, though. Oh, well. I actually, uh, The Volgan and, and I and uh, what's-his-face, or what's-their-faces, the, the Forlorn Foundry guys who do the live action things we had a we had an and or have a podcast it's sort of off and on it's not one of those things that we do we're like trying to adhere to a schedule for we just kind of do it when the when the time comes when it feels right on the one hand this appeals to my vanity because it's saying that you know we're doing it right and other people are doing it wrong i think the title of the actual reddit posts made some sort of reference to that but on the other hand there's nothing wrong with scp podcasters the, the, the big issue with any podcast that you're going to learn is that it's very easy to start a podcast. It's very hard to maintain a podcast, just like a YouTube channel, to be honest with you. The only difference is, is that 
YouTube channels can more easily like you can see your metrics more easily. You can understand your monetization and that gives you some sort of incentive to keep going. Whereas when you make a podcast, it's just kind of you're putting a lot of work in for just the return of like, ah, I feel the satisfaction of creating a podcast. I used to have a podcast of my own for uh, I think it was Eve Online. And uh, yeah, it was that's that was that was the, the, the there was some action. And to be fair, there was some actual like benefits and like tangible results we got out of it but at the same time it was just it's work a lot of work and you have to make sure that the benefits outweigh the negatives of that work uh but i I don't want to discourage people from doing scp podcasts obviously like i I also think that putting stuff up on youtube is probably the best bet that's how i i think i started off with basically what it was a podcast format but it was more of a single person podcast format and then it kind of evolved into a YouTube channel. I think that, I think that's a good way to go. And I think SCP podcast. There should be more SCP podcasters because you have a hundred people making SCP podcasts. Somebody's going to keep going and create some lasting content. So yeah, the foundation, exterminate the human race, <laughs> terminating workers, terminating skips, saving the world. Yeah, they skipped a few steps of the jailers. The group known as the J- is this. I don't know where this is from. But apparently it's something along the lines of the group known as the jailers refer to themselves as the foundation. They are in many ways the oldest, and most dangerous of those who would use us for their own gain. They are cold, meticulous and watchful. And should they ever find a way to open the doors or extract that knowledge from one of our agents, we would be in a dire position. The earliest known mentioning of them comes from the 1344 text of the damned, which mentions them in the past tense as if they had always been known to be there. Hey, bro, what's up? I don't know. Is this from maybe the serpent's library? They're calling them the, the the jailers, so I have to assume the the serpent's hand sort of a thing. They're I'm sure not the serpent's library, the wanderer's library. Is it too much to ask for an audiobook style reading of four two three one and the Ouroboros cycle for those members of the community with dyslexia or attention defici- deficiencies? Well, you can get that. I mean, uh, didn't somebody do the Ouroboros cycle as a reading for YouTube? I could swear someone did. You might want to look that up, whoever posts this. <laughs> and anyone else who feels the same way. Uh, and if not, well, one of these days, maybe I'll do it. We'll see. Extrasensory mind-affecting properties exist. SCP-148. I'm going to stop you right there. Is 148 telekill? I'm going to bet it's telekill. Let's look it up. Let's just, let's just look it up. SCP-148. I'm going to have to guess. I don't know things by their number. That's the... It looks like it's telekill. Is it telekill? Yeah, this looks like tele. Yeah, I like how they made the telekill alloy eventually, like because it was too much of a slapdash cure all, so they just turned it into something that's also incredibly dangerous to be around. But at the same time, I don't know. That feels like a that feels like a band aid on this on an extant problem, you know. <laughs> anyway, getting ready to open up six eight two's containment chamber. Panic. Realizing six eight two is dead. Calm. Realizing six eight two is dead. Panic. Readers who think the SCP Foundation is creepy and dark. You think this is funny? The Lowl the, the Lowell Foundation canon. And many others. Doesn't even have to be in the Lowell Foundation. Uh, the, uh, SCP Foundation doesn't have to be creepy and dark. It's just fiction. That's him, officer. He likes SCP... <laughs> That's him, officer. He likes r slash SCP... I knew this was going to turn into a meme. I didn't know this was the meme that it would be. And so blurry. All right. <laughs> Also, uh, yeah, people are weird. I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. People are just fucking weird. The new classification system is too complicated. Not putting the smallest effort into understanding it. Yes, that is generally the issue when it comes to anything like a classification system, or in, extended even further than that. Like, just people do not like to put in any amount of uh, effort to understand new things. Change is scary. And everyone seems to hate it for absolutely no reasons. Uh, you just kind of learn to live with that reality of, you know, that's how the world is. People just hate fucking change. Anyway, that's it. I'm running out of, I'm running out of energy right now. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and call it there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos.
And uh, if you really like to support the channel, I'm going to say this because uh, the first month ticked by and we lost a lot of patrons, which is expected because this quarantine is really wrecking people's finances. But yeah, if you want to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has. And especially like Lawful Evil and probably Wizard, definitely not a scientist, who have both pledged at $40. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I'll see you all again on Thursday.